वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम नेहा पाराशर वर्किंग इन अ हेल्थ केयर कंपनी एंड बेस्ड इन जर्मनी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट टू काइंड ऑफ सेफ्टी अपडेट रिपोर्ट कॉल्ड डीएसयूआर एंड पीएसयूआर इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द कांसेप्ट कॉल्ड आईबीडी डीएलपी एंड डीआईबीडी व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू दोस सेफ्टी अपडेट रिपोर्ट फर्स्ट लेट्स सी व्हाट इज दिस डीएलपी दैट इज डेटा लॉक पॉइंट In short, this data lock point is referred as DLP, and as the name indicates, just break the term data lock and point. That means lock the data in between these time points. So it's kind of the cut off date, which is the last day of that reporting period, till which date or period we need to include the data in our safety report. Or in other simple word, this DLP indicates the time point for which we need to include. or provide the data in our safety report let's see with example different companies have different timeline or frequency for pebble submission depending on the national regulatory requirement do you remember what is pebble we discussed about pebble in our last video so you can go and check out that video so for example in us first 3 years we need to submit pebble every 3 months and then annually thereafter In EU, first two years we need to submit every six months, and next two years we have to submit it annually, and then every three yearly thereafter. In Japan, first two years we need to submit this paper every six months, and then annually thereafter. So this time point of three months, six months, and annually, this is the data lock point for those country. We have to provide data for this much time point in our paper submission. This data lock point or DLP is applicable for DSUR submission as well as PSUR or paper submission both. Now let's discuss the next concept called IBD. The full form is International Birth Day. As the name indicate, this is International Birth Day. That means the drug got birth internationally first time. Meaning, this is the date when the pharmaceutical company receive the marketing authorization for their drug first time in any country in the world. So this will be the IBD for your drug. Based on this IBD, the data lock point is determined for PSUR or paper submission. Like IBD, the next term is DIBD, that is Developmental International Birth Date. As the name indicate, developmental. So that should be for the development of the drug. IND was the date when the first time MA of the drug was approved while DIBD is the date when the company received the authorization clinical trial authorization first time in any country in the world so that will be your DIBD DSUR sponsors are required to submit a DSUR within 1 year of this DIBD and then provide annual DSUR submission until all the open clinical trials have ended This was all about DLP, IBD, and DIBD. In case you would like to understand some particular concept, just let me know in the comment section. In my next video, we will talk about a new concept. Till then, let's stay tuned for the next update.